More than 30 years ago, a single book by biologist Michael Denton helped transform the public debate over Darwinian evolution. Now, Denton is back with a powerful sequel, and it's a book you won't want to miss. This is Robert Crowther for ID the Future. On today's podcast, we will be giving you a special preview of Michael Denton's new book, Evolution, Still a Theory in Crisis. And we'll be hearing from both Denton and biochemist Michael Behe. The year was 1985, and evolutionary biologists were in an uproar. Defying the scientific establishment, geneticist Michael Denton had just published a book that provided a searing critique of the neo-Darwinian mechanism of natural selection acting on random mutations. Denton's book was titled Evolution, A Theory in Crisis. The book mounted a frontal attack on the science behind Darwinian biology, arguing that the biological evidence simply did not substantiate Darwin's core mechanism. With both a medical degree from Bristol University and a PhD in biochemistry from King's College in London, Denton had impeccable scientific credentials, making him difficult to ignore. Evolution, a theory in crisis, went on to inspire a whole new generation of scientists and scholars in what became known as the intelligent design movement. One of those scientists inspired by Denton's book was Lehigh University biochemist Michael Behe, who years later went on to author his own pathbreaking book, Darwin's Black Box. I think Denton's book was important because he was a legitimate biologist working, doing research in biology, who raised legitimate biological questions about whether a gradual, random mechanism could account for what we know to be the case in biology. So the problems that he pointed out in retrospect, I think, were not that hard to see, but that's the kind of thing that oftentimes escapes a community that all has a shared point of view. And all it takes sometimes is for one person to say, wait a second, if you look at it in this direction, then our whole idea is, is suspect. That was, I think, Denton's greatest accomplishment. And in my travels, I found a number of people who said that it was precisely his questioning of Darwin's theory from a completely scientific point of view that opened their eyes and essentially allowed them too to evaluate the evidence rather than just take people's word for it. And they also came to the conclusion that Darwin's mechanism was not a sufficient answer. More than 30 years after the original publication of Evolution, A Theory in Crisis, Michael Denton has now published a powerful sequel titled Evolution, Still a Theory in Crisis. It's a book you need to know about if you're interested in the cutting edge of the debate over Darwinian evolution. The main message of my new book, Evolution, Still a Theory in Crisis, is that the problem of how you get complex systems bit by bit and tiny adaptive steps is still entirely unsolved in most cases. And the second message is that a great deal of the order of the biological world there's no evidence that it's adaptive, and you have to prove it's adaptive if you're going to build a Darwinian worldview uh, to explain the origin and evolution of things in nature. You have to show that they're adaptive before you explain them by natural selection. In his new book, Denton revisits his earlier thesis about the inability of Darwinian evolution to explain the history of life, as Michael Behe explains. He has accumulated even more evidence showing not only that the problems he pointed out back then are still unsolved, but they're exacerbated. That there are divisions between classes in nature that are not bridged by any of the innumerable intermediates that Darwin's theory requires. In evolution, still a theory in crisis, Denton argues that there remains an irresistible consilience of evidence for rejecting Darwinian cumulative selection as the major driving force of evolution. Denton shows how from the origin of life to the origin of human language, the great divisions in the natural order are still as profound as ever, and they are still unsupported by the series of adaptive transitional forms originally predicted by Darwin. But evolution, still a theory in crisis, does more than simply update Denton's original book. 
it also offers a provocative new argument. Darwinian theory assumes that all significant biological features came about because they were originally adaptive. That is, they promoted an organism's immediate survival in some specific environment. But Denton now challenges the assumption that all biological order is adaptive. I deny that assumption, and I believe it can't be proven in general to any degree in nature. I think there's almost certainly a vast amount of order which is not adaptive in any specific organism and never was adaptive in any particular organism. According to Denton, if biology is riddled with non-adaptive order, this poses a fundamental challenge to modern Darwinian theory because Darwinian theory has no explanation for non-adaptive order. He thinks that there's a, what you would call a typological structure behind life. That is, there are just given structures that have no particular adaptive value but are embedded in nature, and it's a continuing and unanswered challenge to Darwin's theory. Evolution still a theory in crisis has already snagged some outstanding reviews. Professor Michael Flannery of the University of Alabama at Birmingham calls the book a rare and powerful combination that demands careful reading. Paleontologist Gunther Beckley praises the book as a highly competent and very thoughtful critique of the neo-Darwinian paradigm that marshals a great variety of indisputable facts from biology and paleontology. Biologist Jonathan Wells, author of Icons of Evolution and The Myth of Junk DNA, calls Denton's new book a devastating critique of Darwinian evolution and goes on to say, everyone involved in the controversies over evolution should read this book. Professor Steve Fuller of the University of Warwick says Evolution Still a Theory in Crisis is the one book he would recommend to any student or layperson who wants to think in positive, scientific terms out of Darwin's black box. Have I piqued your interest? You can find out a lot more about evolution, still a theory in crisis, by visiting the book's website, www.theoryincrisis.com. That's theoryincrisis.com. There you can download a free chapter, watch video conversations with Denton, and learn about The Biology of the Baroque, a new short documentary inspired by the book. That website again is www.theoryandcrisis.com. I hope you'll check it out.